Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ray Kralo Mekrishu. At present, I'm pursuing Bachelor of Arts, taking up education as my only paper. This afternoon, I will be the moderator for this webinar. Firstly, I, on behalf of the Education Department at the College, would like to warmly welcome each one of you to this afternoon webinar session organized by the Department of Education. Before we begin with the session, let me introduce to you the topic for today's webinar. That is, real classroom teaching learning versus online teaching learning. As you all know, because of this coronavirus pandemic, many changes have been taken place in various fields in the world. Education is one of the most affected fields as all educational institutions has to be closed down due to the post-COVID-19 pandemic. In such situation, both the learners and the teacher had to adopt the online methods of teaching, which is a new system of teaching and learning for many as a result of which the learners and the teacher had to face lots of difficulties and challenges. Therefore, to have a better understanding of the issues and challenges in the field of education, the presenter today here will share on the thoughts and insights on the various aspects of real and online teaching learning, and most importantly, how to tackle it with the various difficulties and challenges of teaching learning during this crisis. Before we proceed any further, I would like to introduce the presenters for today's webinar session. First up, we have Bokiri Achumi of BS 6 semester. Again, we have Kuku Lohe of BS 6 semester. Sajasin Chase of BS 4 semester. Vinikali Achumi of BS 4 semester. Anuja Singh of BS 2 semester. And Bendang Menla of BS 2 semester. Now, she'll give time to Bokiri Achumi of BS 6 semester. You may take your time. Good afternoon, everyone, uh, respected teachers, and all my dear fellow friends. My name is Bokivi A. Atumi, and I am presenting the sixth semester. Uh, I am so blessed and honored to be a part of this uh, presentation. So uh, the COVID-19 outbreak has led to a global pandemic, which is affecting every aspect of human day-to-day -day existence. And out of all aspects, one of the most important factors that uh, concerns the society at the present moment is uh, education for the students. And since our Nagas were confined with a traditional or a real classroom learning system of education, we are compelled to stop schooling in order to prevent ourselves from this COVID outbreak and opt for the other system of learning that is online or e-learning system of education, which I feel is a challenging task for the school authorities teachers and students. Uh, this afternoon, my presentation will uh, be based mostly on my point of view about how I feel and in fact the experiences I'm going through at the moment. I actually interviewed a couple of people which includes the students, the teachers uh, and also the parents about how they feel and all of them had different opinions about it. And out of all the people I interviewed, 90% of them, uh, they were of the opinion that they preferred real classroom learning rather than that of online learning due to many, many reasons which we'll be discussing as we go on. So uh, what is real classroom learning? It is a learning system where students get to learn at a specific time and place. Students interact with the instructor. Uh, and furthermore, it offers opportunities for face-to-face -face interaction in and out of the classroom. And what is online class uh, learning? Online learning refers to instructional environment supported by the internet. It is done through the use of computer, laptops, phones, and other gadgets, and, provided, and provides access to instructional materials, as well as facilitated uh, interaction among teachers and students. The similarities between the online and <coughs> real classroom uh, are both requires a great amount of work. Number two, giving and re uh, receiving feedback is important in both the environment. Number three, both requires that students manage their time wisely. 
Number four, assignments are a huge part of the learning experience in both uh, real classroom and online classroom. There are lots of uh, negative and positive out outcomes of both real classroom and online uh, teaching system. So the first thing, uh, let's go on with uh, online learning system, the positive outcome of online learning system. So online learning is an innovative way to collaborate socially. Number two, video conferencing and social platforms allow students to communicate with others and share information like never before. Number three, online learning keeps the students abreast of our technology. Number four, it provides new experiences. I have uh, interviewed one of the teachers and she said that uh, this online learning has given her a new experience to explore. And she said it is really benefiting and she's really enjoying it about it. But the negative impact of uh, online is that network problem. Right now, uh, yeah, for in the urban areas, that's uh, actually not the problem, but in rural areas like, uh, I'm in village right now, we're facing lots of uh, problems, network problems. Not only the network problems, where are like the scarcity of electricity, irregular of electricity, and there are lots of problems which we face in the uh, rural areas. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, lack of resources. Out here, I'm in village and I see lots of like um, disadvantages because like there are lots of poor families who cannot provide uh, enough materials like uh, resources like laptops. I forget about laptops and computers. They can't even provide phones. And like to recharge the phone, even to recharge the phone, see it, that's not possible for them because of poverty line. So I guess uh, it's a big negative point out here. And number three, time management. Time management. Uh, my mom is a government teacher and you know, uh, I have experience, you know, seeing her, it's really difficult to manage the time because like there are family problems, there are like um, social problems, personal problems, and like it's really hard to manage. As you all know, like it's, it's not really easy to manage the time uh, in an online classes. Number four, not real, uh, not well-trained teachers. Like I've interviewed a teacher and she said that uh, the best of knowledge and wisdom cannot be, uh, you know, given to the stu students because of uh, lack of training. They were not trained properly how to deal, how to tackle this kind of situations. So uh, it's a negative point. And the last point I have are the uneducated parents. The online classes, the teachers cannot provide uh, in detail information about uh, the lessons in the online classes. So like for the educa educated parents, that's somehow okay because they know how to, they can understand, they know how to read and write. But for the uneducated parents, it's really hard for them. And I am uh, like, I'm in village right now and I can see lots of uh, these things kind of things happening because the uneducated students, uneducated parents uh, cannot provide the students up to their expectations, so like it's uh, that's a negative point. And let's go on with the real uh, real classroom learning positivity, a positive of uh, real classroom learning. So number one, co curricular activities. Like as we all know, in a real classroom learning, we get lots of opportunities to explore uh, the opportunities we get to develop ourselves. You know, uh, and we get. We get to be smart enough, you know, to uh, go on with the uh, social norms. And number two, like teachers in the real classroom learning, teachers knows the students personally. They know, like, uh, since it's a face-to-face -face interaction, the teachers knows the students personally. They knows their strength, their weaknesses, and helps them accordingly to their needs and wants. Number three, socializing ourselves, like. The real classroom learning, it helped us to socialize ourselves because uh, we get to interact with people, we make friends 
we participate in different activities. Whereas in online learning, like that's not possible because it's just uh, us, you know, sitting in a confined room and you know having in, uh, classes. So if that's a, a positive mark for the uh, real classroom learning. And number four is that uh, as a student, like when we have doubts and problems, we can approach our teachers, we can approach our mentors personally, face to face. Whereas in online classes, that's uh, that's really not possible. <clears throat> and the last point, like uh, disciplines, the students in real classroom learning, like I feel like it disciplines uh, us so much because uh, it looks, uh, there's a punctuality, it teaches us uh, time management, the respect. And one of the thing I like is about, uh, it is so practical because, so for example, if we are late in the class, we are, the, uh, the gates are closed or maybe um, the attendance are not granted for the day. Like, for example, so like, it helps us, it motivates the uh, students to be smarter or uh, yeah, something like that. So that's the positive one. And the negative impact is that uh, one of the teacher told me that there are some students who don't ask questions, but uh, those who don't ask questions because of fear, because of uh, maybe uh, they are shy of the friends, the teachers, but in an online classes, uh, those students who does not ask questions, they are asking, like, uh, through type, when the explanation is going on, the uh, the type, the questions, when they don't understand, nah, and they, they raise questions a lot uh, in the online classes. So that's the negative point of uh, real classroom learning. And some of the parents were telling that uh, there's an extra expenditure has been uh, met in the real classroom learning because why extra expenditure? Because trans for the transportation, for the transportation, they have to pay extra money or like extra fees instead of, well, uh, they can, the parents who opt for online classes, they say that uh, in online classes, they don't have to pay much money, whereas in real classroom learning, they have to pay uh, lots of money in order to educate uh, their children. And this also said that uh, waste stage of time. Because, why waste stage of time? Because the students, the parents, they have to drop them uh, during the classes and they have to go back to take them, which uh, takes away lots of time of the parents. And they say that in online classes, they uh, like when it's time for classes, they can just uh, browse the phone, uh, open the phone, the laptops, the phone, uh, computers, and they can just go on with the classes. But whereas in real classroom learning, such a stage of time, so uh, it's a negative point. That's what they say. Uh, number four, lack of resources and materials. One of the teachers uh, I interviewed, and she said that she's a science uh, teacher, and she said that uh, sometimes lack of like resources, materials, like. Um, lack of uh, laboratory products, like uh, when teaching the students, like uh, it loses their interest. That's what demotivates the teachers. That's what they say. And I guess it demotivates the teachers as well as the students. So like, I guess that that's really true. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the negative point. Uh, There is a huge differences between uh, the online classes as well as the real classroom learning. But uh, during this pandemic, during this period of pandemic, you know, there is no other option rather than that of online or e-learning system of education. And so both the teachers and students should uh, cooperate with each other. They should stop complaining and accept the reality and face the challenges with uh, enthusiasm, learn, and move forward. As we all know, practice makes a man perfect. And so if we carry on this online classes, uh, 
no matter what the problems, the situations and challenges we might be facing, there will always be a solution because there is no problem without a solution. Let, uh, let us be strong, be brave, be positive and hope for the best. I wish all the very best for all the teachers and the students. Let's stand together. Let's uh, move together and make this online learning uh, productive and a perfect one. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Bokivi. Uh, next up, we have Kukulo here. Kuku, you may take your time. Okay, Wekralu, can you switch to the next presenter? I think Kuku must be facing some connectivity problem. She's not in the group. Okay, miss. Okay, uh, so next up we have Tejasin Nochase of BF for semester. You may take your time. Good afternoon. I am Tedesino Chase from BA fourth semester. In today's webinar, the discussion is on real classroom teaching learning versus online teaching learning. Which one you and I think is better? We may have different opinions. Let's come to that later. We all know how much importance education holds. Imparting knowledge to the students isn't easy at all. Our teachers will know better. Using different methods, teaching techniques, and ways to make students learn is a tough job. Real classroom teaching requires a lot of energy, preparation, and confidence. Real classroom teaching helps a student to learn being physically present in a classroom, whereas online classes helps us learn through virtual methods. They are different, but they have the same goal, that is to impart knowledge. During this pandemic, online classes have benefited us quite well. We have had multiple online classes, which I feel was a pretty good experience. Here are some pictures I've added from our online classes and real classroom teaching. Elements and factors. Real classroom teaching involves infrastructure, as in the building, the desk, bench, and so on. It involves teachers, students, a relationship, choice of study, lesson, and cooperation. For me, cooperation is one of the most important elements. Without cooperation, teaching and learning is almost impossible. Unlike online classes, it is face-to-face, -face, whereas online classes or teaching requires a stable network, a teacher or an instructor, and learners. In online classes, there are limited choices, as a teacher cannot cover a lot of areas in a limited time. Like real classroom teaching, it also requires cooperation of the teachers and the learners. One good thing about online classes is that it is flexible. Let's look at the advantages of real classroom teaching. It improves our social skills as teachers and students because we are around people. Real classroom teaching can be understood better since it has a face-to-face -face encounter, the voice is clearer, and we can also do practicals. Real classroom teaching also gets more attention of the students, unlike online classes, where there are distractions. Group projects and col collaborations can be done only in real classroom teaching. Organization here means the punctuality, the time management, the traveling from home to schools and colleges. It improves our organization skills. Here are some pictures from our college.
Now let's look at the disadvantages of real classroom teaching. Traveling plus installments and fees, everything costs. It consumes our money. Real classroom teaching is a problem for introverts. The shyness blocks them from interacting, which comes in the way of learning. Coming to the advantages of online classes, number one, it is flexible. We can conduct an online class anywhere and at any time. It hardly costs us. We just need to pay for our internet and we need a phone, a laptop, or a computer. It is a bonus for the introverts. I've seen shy students commenting their doubts and pointing out their issues in online classes, which means they are more comfortable in online classes. These are some examples of online classes. Coming to the disadvantages of online classes, network problems. One of the major problems faced by almost every student. There is no face-to-face -face interaction, no group activities. We get more work and assignments to submit since there are no classworks. It requires self-discipline and self-direction since there are no teachers to direct us. Loneliness. There is only you and your gadget. No classmates and no teachers surrounding you, which means it makes which makes it boring and lonely. Online classes comes with limited teaching methods. Since there are no classwork, no practicals, just the teacher lecturing and sending materials in the Google Classroom. This is an example of slow network. Why I think real classroom teaching is better. I personally feel real classroom teaching is better. Let's find out why. In real classroom teaching, we have more activities. Doubts are more specifically cleared. It builds relationship among the students and the teachers, among teachers and their colleagues and staff. We understand the lessons better, and most importantly, we have more teaching methods. To improve online, to improve real classroom teaching, these are some points. Get along, respect, Offer your ideas and thoughts, use a plan, and stay focused. To improve online classes, I suggest for the students, stay focused on your task. Get a good space with good network. And for the teachers, don't make the lecture lengthy. Work on a particular topic rather than three, four topics at a time. Thank you. Thank you, Teja Sino Chasi. Now, next up, we have Vinikali Ajumi, OBA for semester. You may take your time.
हेलो ओके Hello, Wakolo. Excuse me, Wakolo. Yeah. So, if uh, Vinikali is having problem arranging her slides, uh, can you please mo move on to the next presenter, Wakolo? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yeah, Wakolo, you please move on to the next okay. presenter. Okay, since uh, Vinikali is yes. having problem, yes. no? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Okay. Oh, so next up we have Kuku Lohe. Kuku, you may take your time. Okay. Uh, hello? Hello? Am I audible enough? Yes, yes. Yes, Kuku, yes, you are. You are Kuku, yes. <clears throat> okay, okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon, good afternoon um, everyone. I'm, I'm Kuku Lohai of B6 semester and I'll be presenting on the given topic that is real classroom teaching learning versus online teaching learning. Uh, before I start with the topic, uh, I would like to say why this topic is important. Um, in, this, in this present situation, due to this pandemic, the students are not being able to attend, are not being able to attend the real uh, classroom teaching, teaching learning in which Online teaching learning is made is made mandatory. Where many students as well as teachers are facing problems, so for me it is important to discuss this topic and find out what can be done. Uh, moving on to the presentation, sweet up. Okay, real classroom teaching learning. Real classroom teaching learning it is real and tangible where there is teacher to student interaction along with student to teacher and student to student interactions. It is all a part of learning experience. The principal elements include <clears throat> teachers, the learner, and a conducive environment. And for online teaching learning, online teaching learning is an is an education that takes place over internet and it is often referred as e-learning. 
the elements of online teaching learning are learning centered learner centeredness interactivity collaborative learning and social presence next slide a comparative study on real classroom teaching learning and online teaching learning um okay the fact remains unchanged that many still prefer real classroom teaching learning to a virtual one however we cannot deny that online teaching learning is becoming a growth growing trend in our present age and time with technology with technological advancement learners now want quality programs they can access from anywhere and anytime in a, in addition to flexibility and access multiple factors include program choice and time efficiency uh online and real classroom teaching teaching learning education share many qualities students are still required to attend class learn the material submit assignments and complete group projects while teachers still have to design curriculums max maximize instructional quality answer class questions motiv motivate students to learn and grade assignments next point uh, we have in teacher center that is uh, traditional learning uh, traditional teaching learning the teacher usually controls classroom dynamic dynamics the teacher lecture and and comments while students listen take note and ask questions in students centered that is online teaching learning the students usually determine classroom mm -hmm. dynamics as they have independently analyze the information construct questions and ask the teachers for clarification in education as far as online and traditional teaching learning is concerned the opinions are divided questions still remain on the effectiveness of computer assisted teaching learning virtual teaching learning many factors come in account like cost benefits students experience and students performance some favor real classroom teaching learning as online teaching learning can like feedback students tends to click more easily as such students retention satisfaction and performance can be compromised now we have the uh, advantages and disadvantages of real classroom teaching learning the advantages we can we are always free to ask questions provided we do not disturb the teachers in between the lecture next mm. one can discuss issues with fellow students anywhere and anytime they want to third there is ample opportunity for social interaction and support which builds up our confidence for we have access to on campus student facility Okay, uh, guess she's 
going on the network issues. We should go up to the next one. Uh, I'm just seeing a BS second. A very good afternoon to you all. My name is Anuja Singh and I'm representing BSc Kent Semester and I'm taking education as my honors paper. Today the topic which I'm going to present is real classroom teaching learning versus online teaching learning. Before I start my presentation, I'd like to give a brief introduction on real teaching learning versus online teaching learning. Real teaching learning involves real interaction in real time along efficiency of real learning. Online learning can be termed as a network enabled transfer of skill and knowledge and delivery of education is made to a large number of participants at the same or different time. Elements of online teaching learning. Online learning is flexible. When we enroll for online class, we will be able to study and review our course during our own time. It is the asynchronous activity such as presentation, online discussion, quiz, etc. Asynchronous meaning asynchronous is the opposite of synchronous, which means happening at the same time. Asynchronous learning is a learning that does not necessarily happen at the same time for the instructor and the learner. This is no real time interactor. The content is created and made available for the conceptation on later. Example of asynchronous is social media group and email extra. Live learning increases engagement by adding human element. It is especially beneficial for the learner who are not so self-sufficient or who use traditional teacher and class-based model of education. Advantages of real classroom teaching learning. Enhanced critical thinking skill. It enhances student critical thinking skill. Teaching a classroom gives a student the opportunity to engage in the lab discussion in which they are forced to use their critical thinking skill to formulate opinion or arguments in classroom. Improve social skill. Inside a classroom, a student experience social interaction and establish report with the teacher help children develop socially is an important step within the realm of their academy education. Develop important personality and career building skill. Classroom teaching inculcate conflict resolving skill, presentation skill, when it comes to presenting their own ideas confidently in front of others and develop team spirit and teaches them to get along with those from different culture backgrounds. Disadvantage of real classroom teaching learning. Travel of time and cost. In real classroom, we spend our most of the time and money in traveling one place to another. Attendance time can be restrictive or inconvenient. Size then may have traveled to approach the instructor with question. In size then hide behind their anxiety and fear of talking aloud in the classroom. They never feel free to ask question in front of other students. Advantages of online teaching learning. Online learning is more effective because it is accompanied by various teaching apps. It saves the time of teacher and student. In online learning, we save our loss of time, which we can utilize for other productive activity. Online learning has no geographical barriers. In online learning, we don't require any proper place. We can use anywhere and anytime. Online learning is not expensive. As compared to real teaching learning, online learning is cheaper. In online learning, there is no required of any proper uniform or compulsory textbook. Disadvantage of online teaching learning. There is no close relationship between pupil and teacher. In online learning, there is no close relationship among teacher and student. 
is you don't have to study alone. Slow interaction speed is the biggest failure of online learning. In online learning, there is no face-to-face -face interaction among teacher and student, and slow network is also one of the biggest challenge which we face during our online study, especially in remote area. Internet package nowadays are too costly. Nowadays, internet pack is too costly. We hardly get two GB per day, with which we can study only two or three classes in a day, which cannot be afforded by everyone. In online learning, we require a smartphone or laptop, which is not possible for everyone to afford. Way to deal with the difficulties and challenges of teaching learning. Avoid false and negative information. We, so we should always try to avoid the false and negative information because it disturbs our mind mentally and emotionally. Stay positive and optimistic. We should always try to stay positive because it will make us feel better. We can stay positive by and it, by spending our most of the time with families, friends, and relatives. Seek help from counselor if anyone is going through fear, depression, anxiety, extra. If anyone is going through depression, we should always try to connect the counselor because they can help us in better way to come out from our problem. Stay connected with friends and loved ones. In this pandemic situation, we should always try to connect with our loved ones and family so that we always be happy and will think positive. Connect with mentors, teacher, often for guidance and help. We should always try to connect with our teacher and mentor because they can help us in many ways in finding our solution or problem. Keep oneself busy by engaging in productive activity. We should always try to keep ourselves busy in doing some productive activity, whichever we like to prefer. The way I like to cook food or dancing in my free time. In conclusion, I would like to say that the effort, cooperation, and education of both learner and educator is necessary to overcome the difficulties and challenge of teaching learning during the present crisis. Thank you. Thank you, Anuja. Next up, we have Benang Mela. Benang Mela, you may take your time.
Good afternoon to you all. My name is Phenomena, representing from BS second semester. The topic which I'm going to speak is on real classroom teaching learning versus online teaching learning. Before I go on with my presentation, I would like to give a brief intro on what is real classroom teaching learning and what is online teaching learning. In real classroom teaching learning, there is limited assessment and feedback can be given by the teachers and everyone clearly understands the rules and regulations of the system. <sighs> In online teaching learning, students can learn from distance and can learn from the own space and pace of learning. Advantages and disadvantages of real classroom teaching learning advantages. Access to campus facilities, direction, better platform to develop individual personality. The benefit of real classroom teaching is learning is that both the teacher and the student can access to campus facilities like libraries and science laboratories which help in the teaching learning process. There is an interaction between both two individuals which makes the real classroom teaching learning more interesting and also gives a better platform to develop individual personality by conducting presentation and many other institution activities. Disadvantages of real classroom teaching learning are travel time and cost, physical presence, strict rules and guidelines. In real classroom teaching learning, present is very important and in order to be physically present, we have to travel, which leads to waste of time and money. And we also have to follow the strict rules and guidelines set by the institution. Advantages of online teaching learning, save time, effort and money, comfortable use of innovative method with the help of technology. Online education is a very comfortable process of teaching and learning. One can be in its comfort zone and learn or teach without spending money, effort and time. And one can also use an innovative method of technology like audio and video clips, etc. Disadvantages of online teaching and learning are technological difficulties, lack of conversation, debate, and discussion, lack of attention and interest. The process of online teaching learning is a threat because one has to face with the difficulties of the technological problem. There is also a lack of conversation, debate and discussion with own peers and also leads to lack of attention and interest. As we all know that due to the pandemic of COVID-19 all over the world, has affected the education process and many learners are impacted due to the national school closures worldwide. In this statistics, we can say, see that around 1.38 billion learners have been impacted by the COVID-19. Best to deal with the difficulties of teaching learning at present crisis. Stay connected with classmates, friends, and family members. Take good care of one's mental, emotional, and physical health. Sharing course, materials, and online lectures. Use of every possible technology for education purpose. Be responsible. In this crisis, we shall deal with the difficulties by staying connected with our classmates, friends, and families, and take good care of one's mental, emotional, and physical health. Learners and teachers should share their material thoughts and other online lectures with their peers and students and make use of every possible technology for education purpose. One should be very responsible of taking care of themselves and by following the preparation. In conclusion, we can say that for some individuals, real classroom teaching learning is convenient and appropriate. Well, for for some online teaching learning is preferred. Hence the will to teach and the willpower to learn is what makes teaching and learning successful. Thank you.
थैंक यू बेलंग मल्ला नाउ गिव टाइम टू बी निकाली आ चू मी मैं तो कहता हूं Yeah, Vinikali, can you hear us? You may take your time if the network is okay. Okay, where Kralu then can you give time to uh, Kuku for a presentation? Kuku, you may take a time. Um, okay, uh, I'm sorry, my network went off, so I'm having network problems. So I'm be using uh, PowerPoint, but I'll just continue from where I left. Am I audible enough? Yes, you are. Yes, you are Google. Okay, now I'll go to advantages and disadvantages of <clears throat> real classroom teaching and learning. Advantages: We are always free to ask questions, provided we do not disturb uh, the lectures in between. Two, one can discuss issues with fellow students anywhere and any time if possible. Three, there is ample opportunity for social interaction and support. <clears throat> Four. We have access to on-campus on student facilities. The disadvantages. One, time travel and calls for the students who live in rural areas. Two, we are required to buy compulsory textbooks. Three, attendance time can be restrictive and inconvenient. Uh, now I'd like to move on to advantages and disadvantages of online teaching learning. The advantages. There is no need to travel, saving both time and money. One can speed up videos during easy parts, during easy parts, and slow them down to understand the difficult concepts. Online teaching usually includes pre-recorded videos, so you can post, pause the videos while writing notes or rewatch them as often as necessary to learn them better. And as for these advantages, there is no face-to-face -face contact with fellow students or course staffs. No student facilities such as laboratories or libraries. Three, it can be hard to find answers to questions or resolve difficulties, especially when discussion forum participation is low. Four, you need self-motivation and effectiveness. Three, a five, there's difficulties in concentration. Uh, now, I would like to go to the end. There is ways and means to deal with problems and challenge challenges of teaching learning during this pandemic uh, well a good a good communication strategy with each other that is teacher with student and students among students by keeping in contact with each other um, the students can be a wait up, students can be can be proactive <clears throat> uh, by reaching out to their friends if teachers are unable to like if they receive necessary information or lessons from the teachers. Uh, and also, teacher can make lessons in video format and forward to students to make learning more vivid and surreal. Um, three, it is important that students remain proactive to learning and keep an open mind by using social medias and other sources, however possible, to continue learning. 
example, use of all kinds of delivery modes since in Nagaland there is a big issue of network problem and connectivity in some areas uh, like we are facing right now. Uh, five, the education department ought to work with the telecommunication sector and apply zero rate policies to facilitate learning material to be downloaded on smartphones, which students are likely to have. Next, uh, use of social networks, WhatsApp or SMS for effective learning, com learning communication, providing guidelines, instructions and structure to the learning process using content delivery by radio or TV. In conclusion, we can all work together during these difficult times and cooperate among our ourselves to make this online teaching learning productive. We are all aware of the shortcomings and inability to connect and keep in constant contact with each other, but we need to stay positive towards the whole situation and help our teachers and help ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Kuku. Um, Vinikali, if you're ready now, you may take your time. Yes, you are. Good evening to you all, respected lecturers, seniors, and to all my dear fellow friends. I have been very optimistic students of the fourth semester education honors. I would like to thank our respected lecturers for giving me such an opportunity to thank to share my opinion on real costume teaching learning versus online teaching learning. <laughs> uh, before going deeper into the topic, let us first know the definition of real classroom teaching learning and online teaching learning. As you can see that real classroom teaching learning, the classroom is a real, tangible, touchable place to learn and teach. And it's a teacher, right? In a classroom, students are encouraged to engage themselves in various physical activities and also found their ideas and thoughts raised by their fellow classmates. It is a place where one can learn to build their confidence and to be, to be a better leader of tomorrow. <clears throat> in a real classroom teaching learning, we personally keep our children to learn and guide knowledge, also we gain knowledge through personal experiences, which makes our information reliable. It also builds our personality to be confident and to face any situation. So, Online teaching learning. In online teaching learning or virtual classroom or e learning refers to courses that are delivered completely through online or internet. It is accessible through smartphones like laptops, desktops, etc., making it easier for people to access into their respective virtual classrooms. With online teaching learning, Students can learn from the comfort of their own. In an online teaching learning, we learn through virtual experience. It saves up a lot of our time and money too, having access to many learning through internet.
a key difference. The key difference has related well to gene learning classroom and online teaching learning. In well teaching learning classroom, first one, in classroom settings, we can say in classroom settings, like in classroom settings, we can imagine of a school building comprising of comprising of classrooms like benches, chairs, whiteboard, tables, etc. In online teaching learning, like network, computer, test. On the second point, in real teaching learning classroom, individual attention, interaction with professors. On online teaching learning, personality style. In real teaching, verbal, non-verbal communication. Online teaching learning, extended time to respond or process information. Without going much in detail, as we can all see, as we can all see, we can all see going down to the next, there is uh, advantage and disadvantage of real teaching learning classrooms. In advantage of real teaching learning classrooms, there are the points that is promotes collaboration learning, improves social skills, enhance critical thinking, build self-confidence. On, on the other side, disadvantage, time travel and cost, which is very common. Attendance can be restricted and or inconvenient. Single mistake can be a huge distraction for both the instructor and the student. Advantage of online teaching learning and disadvantage of online teaching learning. The advantage is that students can easily avail education, no need to travel, saving both time and money, to save time of the learner. There is no age limit of learners. Online learning is not expensive. Social distancing and disadvantage. Classroom interaction is missing. Low internet speed is the biggest failure of online learning. Online learning requires electronic devices such as smartphones, laptops, desktops, etc., which cannot be afforded by everyone. We need effective self motivation. As I have written in a very simple way, so I hope you guys can understand it, even though I don't go into deep explanation. Now going on to the end of my presentation, my conclusion. Advancement in technologies has revolutionized mankind's standard of living and internet. It's also an integral part of it. For internet, people all over the world get the privilege to access into different types of learning. Online teaching learning is one of them. Online teaching learning plays a big role for those who wish to learn in an isolated place with no crowd and peace of mind. It's especially good for a timid person who is very shy, but it can also be a disadvantage for those people who wish to acquire knowledge through active participation in real classroom. I like to take an example of myself. Participation in real teaching learning classroom helps both the students and the instructor to build themselves up. As we learn and experience many things, we realize the world of things around us. Whatever we do, it depends on us, on how we perceive things. People may criticize on something, but it's slowly on us. Slowly on us, on how we try to utilize the resources given to us. It may be a cause of destruction or it may lead to a good change. So, 
I would like to encourage you all to make the best use of the resources available around you. And maybe someday you may be able to produce something good which will help mankind move toward a great and better future. Thank you all. Thank you, Vinikali. Now we shall have a Q&A session. As Ms. Simon has already mentioned in the chat box, if any of the attendees have a question or queries for the presenter, one can do so by using the mic or by using the chat box. Time is given. Uh, all right, yeah. So um, let me ask the first question. Uh, I would like to ask this question to uh, Bandang Menla. So uh, Bandang Menla, in your presentation, you have mentioned that uh, under the disadvantages of online learning, you have mentioned that uh, the students, they uh, lack interest and attention during the uh, class uh, class teaching learning. So why do you think the students they they do they cannot pay attention and they are not interested in the you know online uh, teaching learning can you tell me yeah uh, so benang ben like uh, did you get my question Bandang Menla, yeah. Bandang Menla, can you please respond uh, once? Yeah, can uh, did you did you get my question? No, I mean my network is off. Okay, so. Okay, all right. So let me repeat the question again. Okay, yeah. So uh, in your uh, presentation, you said that. Um, under the disadvantages of online learning, you said that the uh, students, okay, one of the points which you have mentioned, you said that uh, the students, they lack uh, attention and interest during uh, online teaching, right? So why do you think the students, they are not interested and they, they do not pay, they cannot pay attention during the online teaching learning? Yeah. Can you please, yeah, give your views? Yeah. Miss. Yeah, hello, yeah. I hope you got my question right. Yes, yes. All right, yeah, yeah. You go ahead with the answer. <clears throat> because they are very comfortable in their environment at the same time, while they are at home, they are like there are many distractions from the environment, from the uh, siblings and families. We don't get proper environment to just like focus on one uh, on the teachers because of the because of the environment which we are taking class is not time for us when we are at home we feel very free and like there are so many distractions. All right, thank you so much for the answer, Bandang Menla. Yeah. Welcome, Miss.
ஆ ஹலோ ரிகார்டிங் மிஸ் கொஷன் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஆல்சோ சப்ளிமெண்ட் மை ஒப்பீனியன் இட் இஸ் எ வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங் ஒன் வி ஆர் இன் கிளாஸ் ஒன் வி இன் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கம்பல்ட் டு பே அட்டென்ஷன் டு த டீச்சர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் த டீச்சர் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் த கிளாஸ் அண்ட் வி ஆர் அண்ட் வி பிஹேவ் பெட்டர் எஸ் இன் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஸோ ஸோ லைக் வி டோன்ட் ரியலி கேர் தட்ஸ் இட் தேங்க் யூ Yeah, presenters, uh, Ms. Gisha Sahya has asked a question and you know, the presenter can answer. Her question is, can we only look at our social skills during the class or can it not be improved family and neighbors after online classes? So she is really be taken as a disadvantage in the presenters. Yeah, any of the presenters may answer this question. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Oh, okay, I just want to tell, I just want to tell it to all the presenters, presenters, please feel free to share your opinion. Nobody is judging you and nobody is going to um, make opinions like whether it is wrong or right please feel free to share your ideas and opinions 
and in case you think you cannot answer this question then please think about it by yourself by reflect reflecting upon what you have presented still um i mean i really expect an answer from anybody thank you Uh, hello miss i'd like to give your answer um, according to me we can develop our social skill in real classroom more better because uh, in real classroom we meet different people from different background and culture so we can develop our idea and skill properly there we can develop in our home and never nearby neighbor also but in our near place all are our close people we know them very well but in our classroom the peoples are from different background and different culture so we can give the answer we can develop our skill uh, confidently if we can learn our we can learn the personal to develop in front of other people confidently miss are you satisfied with my answer thank you anusha thank you for the answer and yes since it's your opinion i respect that thank you thank you miss Okay, uh, supplementing to that, uh, in my opinion, like, uh, it is both at home and and at class, we can improve our social skills. It depends on the person entirely, I think. Um, like, see, uh, we have, uh, we learn both good habit. Uh, we learn, uh, both good habits and basic bas basic speaking or like communication skills. Is there more question for the presenters? And in the class, uh, hello. Am I audible enough? Let's go. Uh, we yes, can hear you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, supplementing uh to the answer which I'm talking. Regarding uh, Miss uh, questions, okay. Uh, from in my opinion, like both at home and at at class, we can improve our social skills. It depends on the person entirely. I think, like we can learn both good habits, basic basic speaking or communication skills at home and uh, as well as in the class. Um, like Anu just said, we learn uh from different people, uh different personalities, which helps us in developing our social skills. That's it. Thank you. I would also like to give my opinion on Miss Misha's question. I think, in my opinion, we can improve our social skills even in classroom, even in online classroom, and even in other social social online platforms. It's not that even only in real classroom teaching, we can improve our social skills. We, it depends on us, how we socialize with people, how we socialize people on social media, and even in real life. Thank you, Tejas Zeno.
Miss Hanin Hanin Le question. I think real classroom teaching is better than online classes because in real classroom teaching, we can develop our social skills. We can understand better. We can pay attention to the teachers better and it improves our collaborative learning and we realize our organization skills. Hello, my audible. Hello. Yes. Okay. So here we. Uh, if there's any qu more question, we can do one more. If not, we'll end the session here. Is there any more question? Is there any more question? Yes, we don't. Uh, so we here we come to the end of our webinar session. I thank each one of you, the presenter as well as the attendees, for joining in the webinar session organized by the Department of Education, Tetsu College. I wish all a great evening ahead. Thank you. <laughs>